Performance troubleshooting ELSD relative standard deviation and limits of detection issues. A lot of what can affect your relative standard deviation is nebulizer cleanliness, exhaust blockages or vacuum, solvent line blockages, but the user intervention that can be done, I'm going to show you right now. First is most likely your problem with LOD and RSD will be with your nebulizer. Your nebulizer is right here. You just quickly unscrew this and pop it off. And there is your nebulizer. It has a gas input and a liquid input and it sprays. And what you want to do is you're going to take this out and putting it, put it into a 100 ml beaker. It's what we call partial submersion nebulizer sonication. You put it so it stays vertical with 50-50 mix of methanol and water and you sonicate it in a sonication bath. But do not sonicate the upper part or the plastics here because that will mess, mess up the nebulizer. Just do a partial submersion sonication on this nozzle. This little tip here is where all the action is. You can barely see it. But it doesn't take much contamination to affect sensitivity in RSD right here. So sonicate it for maybe three minutes, put it back in the detector and wait about 10 minutes for it to calm down and your nebulizer will now be clean. And I will show you what a partial submersion sonication looks like. You have a small 100 ml beaker. You put your nebulizer in there like this. The line comes out and you only fill it up like that. This is the side view of the nebulizer. And this is what you want, a solvent level there. If you fill the solvent beaker up this high and submerge it completely, bad. You want about one inch. This is good. Too high is bad. Low is good. That's how you sonicate your nebulizer and reinstall it back in the detector. Provided your drain lines and your exhaust lines are not blocked, more than likely it's your nebulizer affecting your RSDs and LODs.